Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly, and today we're gonna show you something that you use all the time, but I bet you, you don't know how it works. Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly, and today we're gonna look at how carb heat works. Since we've got my engine all pulled apart, and you can actually see it over here, um, we've got a bunch of stuff going on with it, and we're, we're taking this opportunity while we're all in quarantine to put my engine in quarantine and take it apart and clean it all the way up. But as we're kind of going through it, we're finding new things that really need to be addressed. So come on over here, and this I want to show you. This is how the carb heat works. And this whole thing is the cowling, and it's the bottom half of the cowling. So air comes into here, and this is how the carb heat works. Now, this had to be rebuilt because this was just kind of old, and again, this was made when the Beatles were still a band. So this comes up, and then this basically blocks the air intake from, uh, from the outside air and brings the air from heated air, and when you pull the carb heat, this is what happens. So basically, you pull the carb heat, and this blocks that fresh air coming in, and then air is now taken off of this, which actually has its own intake hold, which runs off the exhaust manifold. And that is how the carb heat works. So what was rebuilt was this. This was all sandblasted and cleaned up, and this is a nice, smooth surface. And then this was rebuilt with a new gasket, and everything's nice and smooth and works perfectly. And it fits in right like this, and they're just gonna rivet it in. And this was the second piece. So this is the air intake that goes directly to the carburetor. And this piece over here is all brand new. These just have to be riveted in. But this was the old piece. And if you look at this, this was an old chewed up thing. <laughs> we'll just call it a thing. But if you look at the old piece, it just was old rotted away, probably from hot air and nicks and, you know, over the 50 years. And this is, this is how it actually looked. And it wasn't even making a good seal. And this was drawing in air from, it wasn't even drawing in filtered air, it was drawing in dirty air. So my carb heat never really took a big temperature drop when I popped it in, it was, it was always very small. Well, this is why, because it really wasn't pulling in hot air. So this is the old one, and you can see it's all kind of chipped and bad and nasty. And this, uh, we're waiting for this new clasp to come in. Once this new clasp comes in, we're gonna replace that. And this piece actually is fine. But this attaches onto the carburetor. This is how it looks from the inside of the engine. This is the carburetor. And this is where that air inlet comes in and it takes that hot air or air that's coming in from the air filter and that little duct divides that, you know, separates it when you pull the carb heat. You pull the carb heat, it comes from the hot air source and you push the carb heat back in and it comes from the filtered air and it goes right into the carb, uh, right into the carburetor here. So while we were here, we replaced these fuel lines too. So these fuel lines are all new and they look shiny and they're good and we gave everything a once over. And also we did find a little something here look at this is a broken wire this was a broken wire from one of the uh, cylinder probes for the exhaust gas temperature so um, it was an old it's an old analog and I've been debating whether to put an engine monitor in or not I'm still debating that but um, this is uh, going to be replaced as well once this is riveted in this will be a very nice piece and this is how carb heat works and I know you all have wondered how does this carb heat works? Is there a little guy that comes out in the carburetor and just like holds a match to it? Or is there a little teeny heater around the inlet of the carburetor? No, it just brings in warm air from the exhaust manifold and that's what heats up the air that goes into the carburetor. So, I hope you learned something and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and we will see you soon.